This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. In a previous video, I showed how to do all over pile knitting on the Brother. This was really fun and easy. Now what if you wanted to do every other needle and have less loops? Let's go ahead and try that. I am demonstrating on my Brother Bulky 270, but this pattern does not require any patterning capability. I'm going to start by casting on and knitting a few rows of ordinary stockinette stitch. Now I'm changing to ribbing, so I am unthreading this regular sinker plate and taking it off the machine. Instead, I am installing the river coupler and I'm going to thread it instead. So bringing up the river and clicking the two together. Now I have a special setting that I need for this technique. On the main carriage, I want it to tuck only to the left. I'm going to push only the left tuck button. On the river carriage, I want it to slip only to the right. So this goes on in, this goes on R, slide lever down at the bottom goes to the left, and this PR lever goes up. That makes it slip to the right. Then I must be on half pitch. Half pitch is where the needles don't match up. See, this would be full pitch. Half pitch is like that. They can slide between each other, so we have to be on half pitch. I am on 3H, and I happen to have, from needle 17 on the left to needle 15 on the right, but on my river, I'm going to do every other needle, not every needle. So now, and I am just going to be from 15 on the left to 14 on the right. And I'm just going to click over so that my machine has two end needles to the right of my first river needle and two end needles to the left of my last, last river needle. I've got my reasons, folks. So let me zoom in and show you the actual stitch. You can see it forming. So for starters, I have to bring the end needles on the main bed out to hold. This is so they don't tuck. And I'm going to go to the left. And it lays yarn in every needle and it only knits off the end needles. Then when I go to the right, it's going to knit everybody on the main bed, but slip the river needles, which is what I've done. Now I'm going to drop these loops. So I'm pushing my carriages apart, like I did on the other um, side of Going across and back, that drops all my river loops. And then I'm taking a cut credit card and tucking them between the beds. Now here's the thing I didn't do. I am currently sitting on 4H for my rack. I'm going to rack one, two times to 3H and then I'm going to do it again. Bring out my end needles to hold, knit my two rows, then I'm going to slip And then I'm going to drop these stitches and tuck them under and do it again after racking back to 4H. So, knit my end needles, drop my ribbon stitches, tuck them between the beds. I'm currently on 4H, so I rack to 3H, and then I do it again. Knit two rows, 
with these end needles out first. Then drop my rubber stitches, slip those between the beds, and rack. I'm on 3H, so I go to 4H and do it again. Knit two rows, drop the rubber stitches by going across and back with the rubber carriage only, slip everybody between the beds, and rack. I'm on 4H, so I go to 3H. After you have your sample done, you just bind off on the main bed. You can do that any way you like. I'm going to go ahead and drop the stitches and show you this pile knitting. Now here's what I just made. This has half as many loops as the other sample and they alternate on one row they're on on every other needle and then on the next row they're over by a needle so they they move back and forth between the rows and I tried not bothering to move them and they just stood in neat little rows like a crop and I, I didn't care for that look so this is a less puffy less thick version of pile knitting and to contrast the two I've got this other one here next to it I thought you might enjoy trying both variations of this very interesting technique